In this video, we're going to be using First Line Shave Frag Out and the Harry's Razor with their new blades for Dome Shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Frag Out by First Line Shave. And I got this by way of a sample with my recent order from First Line Shave. Uh, artisans, pay attention. Samples will get you sales because I bought this set based on this sample. Thank you, Mike, for sending it. Mike Raleigh from First Line Shave. And this soap was meant to honor men and women serving in the military. And a portion of the profits go to the Wounded Warrior uh, charity, which is really, really excellent. The price on this is $23 for four ounces or $5.75 an ounce on our cost chart there. But this is uh, a charity soap or something to create awareness for veterans. So we're certainly happy to spend a little more for this particular charity. The notes on this, we'll put them for you right there. This is inspired by um, Spice Bomb Extreme. Really nice scent, good scent strength. I think First Line Shave generally has really good scent strength on their soaps, medium high to high. Uh, really good formula as well. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. Uh, tallow, this is in the First Line Shave 3.0 base, which is very good. The razor today is the Harry's razor. I actually got an email and I had some credit with Harry's. So I bought their Winston handle, which is some sort of metal. And this is their brand new blades that come in the green um, sort of package. And so we're we're looking forward to trying this today. I've never used these particular Harry's blades, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's wet the dome here and then we'll get right into it. And I have the, uh, the frag out lathered up already. Really nice lather. We're using our West Coast shaving brush here, or as I like to call it, the dude of shaving brush, because he does not like it because he's, He's under the impression that you have to have backbone to create a leather. You don't, you don't. <laughs> anyway, um, I really like using this brush. It's easy on the skin, but generates a lather. And that is what I like in a brush. I want it to be easy on my skin, but generate a lather rather well. And I think you should be able to see that this is a nice lather and it smells great. It smells really nice. So looking forward to using this today. And Supporting veterans. I'm a veteran myself. And so this is a cause that, of course, it's near and dear to my heart. Wounded warriors. So, awesome. And Michael Riley is that type of guy that likes to support um, law enforcement and military folks. So it's always nice to see someone doing that. And we're happy to use this product today. And it smells great. I'm definitely liking the scent. Like I said, I like it so much that I bought this right after smelling the sample. I got it at the razor company. I think right now only the razor company and Maggards have this. So as of the date of this recording, which I am recording this in advance, so this probably won't air for a week or a week and a half. As of the day of the recording, this was in stock at the razor company, but by the time you see this, it may not be. So just be cognizant of that. Uh, it is not in stock at uh, First Line Shave. Mike said he, this is sort of when his winter Seasonal, so keep that in mind. And let's get going here with the Harry's. And it feels pretty good so far. The uh, the handle here is called the Winston handle. And uh, feels pretty nice. No problem so far. Harry's claims these uh, blades are sharper. I don't know if they are or are not, but hopefully we'll get an excellent shave today and find out. They certainly don't feel any worse than the old blades, as far as I can tell. I do have a bump or two on the the back of my head there. So hopefully we won't open that up today, but we certainly won't promise it. I'm telling you, this uh, these first line shave soaps, one of the things you have to admit is that they are quite fragrant. He doesn't go light on the, the fragrances and he has a lot of good scents, or at least I find myself enjoying most of them, not all, but uh, I do own a number of them now, and uh, I do enjoy it. It's a good quality soap, especially in the 3.0 base, which before, like for example, Fallout, when I got it, I think I got a lot of the side odor, which had a bit of a funk to it. And my nose is very sensitive to scents that I perceive to be funky. And by funky, I mean, <sighs> it's hard to explain, but, Something like body odor, something unpleasant like dirty socks, um, those scents, if my nose pick, 
pick them up um, at all. I'm really, really, I mean, I get a lot of it. If I smell it at all, I get a lot of it. So I'm very, very sensitive to that. And sweet florals. Those two things, um, certain types of sweet florals, I should say. If, if soaps have those in them, uh, I, I pick them up very intensely. And so that's why I tend to be on the sort of fresh boy side of the house when it comes to scents. Because that's just, you know, it's just what I like. But this one is a very nice scent. Uh, again, it's uh, inspired by Spice Bomb Extreme. And I don't know if there's a Spice Bomb Regular and a Spice Bomb Extreme or what. And as you can see, there's some of that lubrication strip from the Harry's is coming off. And you'll have that with some of these cart razors. When you shave with the traditional soap, you don't need the lubrication strip. But a lot of these cart razors have the lubrication strip because they're assuming that you're going to be using maybe a can foam or a gel or maybe something that doesn't have as much slickness as a well hydrated traditional shaving lather will have. And so that's the reason that um, lubrication strip is on there. With traditional shaving with a properly lathered soap, you absolutely do not need it, but they're putting that there because they're assuming you're gonna have a, probably a subpar lather with one of those foams. You can do, you, you can make a, a nice lather with the foams and gels if you work on it, but I don't think anything quite matches up with these you know, traditional shaving soaps. They're formulated to be very slick when mixed with water, so the lubrication strip is really something that's absolutely not necessary. However, um, it doesn't really get in the way, but some, sometimes you'll see those strings coming off it, and that's that lubrication strip kind of mixing with the soap and and breaking down. That first pass was, was very nice and relatively close. I, I do like to get around my ear here just a little bit. And again, making sure not to nick that here again like I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the first run, first pass, I should say, with the blades, not bad at all. No problem. So let's get on with our second pass here. Soap, really, really good. No quality issues at all. Again, it's pricey, um, but I'm assuming, you know, because we're supporting a charity. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, First Line does donate. Um often to cherries. It might be every soap that they sell, but I don't don't hold me to that. Go in the go to the website and you know have a look yourself. Um, very nice. But I'm pretty sure they uh contribute to charities often. I'm not sure if it's every single tub because I didn't really look that up. I'm I'm using so many different products on a regular basis that uh you know, as time goes on, you sort of lose track and forget. I do make notes with every video, but sometimes what they're contributing to charity, I, I sort of miss. And so I certainly don't mean any, any offense by that. But primarily, we're concerned with the, the product here because you can contribute to all these charities individually if you, if you wish. And I certainly uh, encourage you to do so if you so desire. Uh, I know most people are just buying the shaving soap for the shaving soap, but every now and then you'll see one with a charity that that speaks to you and, you know, um, buy that product if you like. But keep in mind, you can always just give directly to the charity if you please. But you can also feel good, I guess, about uh, buying a certain soap because it, uh, oh, did I just roll back on that ear? I might have done that again. That's the exact same ear I got before, and I might have rolled back on that again. I hope I didn't, but it's possible that I did. But I have punished that ear recently. Uh, and I do that sometimes, but, you know, what are you going to do? Just the way it happens sometimes. Sometimes we get sloppy. We get talking. We're not minding our technique as much as we should. And, boy, that... Uh, the location strip really mixing. You see how much of that that is breaking down now? <laughs> and some of it was left on my skin and it was uh, actually in my brush. So, you know, <laughs> that's that's the only bad thing about these cart razors. I did not notice that being an issue with the old Harry's razor um, as much. 
you you folks tell me if you ever experienced, but I don't remember experiencing that much with the old Harry's. So. I don't know if they've just changed the lubrication strip to something different, or maybe it's just the combination of this particular soap, but you can see how it's sort of hanging there. And I saw it sort of hanging off my brush too. So it's sort of, it, it was laying on my skin after that first pass, because it's sort of breaking down as you go. You can see it sort of, I don't know if you could, can you see that? See that? That's what's happening. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but the lubrication strips are slowly breaking down and causing that spider webby type thing there. But I don't recall having that issue before with Harry's. So Harry's, I don't know. I don't know if they've changed it, but it will eventually tone down. But this is the first use with this uh, razor. So, you know, maybe it'll slow down a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. No problem, really. Just at the most slightly annoying but no problem. The soap here is quite good, I'll tell you that. We're not having any issues with that. But that lubrication strip is definitely creating that uh, stringy-like situation there. And as you're going over your head, it's sort of leaving some of it behind on your head. And so, just be wary or be cognizant of it. Really nothing to be weary about, because it's not... It's not likely to cause any problems. It just might annoy you slightly, as it does me. <laughs> Ultimately, no big deal. Um, does it add anything to the shave? I doubt it. Uh, not for a traditional shave. Whereas you're, whereas you're already getting all the, the, the stuff you need. But for maybe someone who's not using a gray soap, maybe it helps, I don't know. It's entirely possible. All right. We're just trying to get this going here and get all these spots really nicely. I'm telling you, I love the scent of the soap and I did buy it based on the sample. So again, artisans, pay attention. <laughs> these samples, they generate sales because this one surely did. I went. As soon as I opened the sample, I went straight to the razor company and bought the uh, the full set, soap and aftershave. So it's worth putting a little sample in those packages, artisans. I've been saying that for a long time. <laughs> but it's especially true today because a sale has been generated from this one. Okay, I think we've done pretty well there. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And that was a very nice shave with the first line shave, Frag Out. Again, at this time, only available as the day of recording this video at Maggard's and the Razor Company. So check there if you're interested. Very nice fragrance, very good quality. No problems whatsoever. Again, first line shave, Frag Out. Um, really, really nice. I liked it. Um, the razor today was the Harry's razor with the Winston handle, brand new blades. I would say I didn't notice much difference with these blades apart from that lubrication strip breaking down and getting sticky, as you saw. Um, otherwise, it was a nice shave. I thought I might have got my ear there, but I guess I didn't. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> maybe I got lucky because by the end of the shave, if I did get it, it wasn't bleeding. So who knows? Dude of shaving brush here was excellent. Uh, and of course, we shall finish it off today with an aftershave. And this is First Line Shave Blue, which smells to me like uh, Eternity, which is a really nice old school fragrance. And we will apply this and be off to the races and having a great day. I hope wherever you are, when this airs, you're having a great day, having great shaves. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, Ryan. you. It's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.